Kelly. I'm one of the third year fellows. I'm going to take you on a tour of our emergency department. So follow me through the front doors. And hey, I'm Vade, and I'm your videographer. So if you hear someone piping in, it's me. So as our patients enter the emergency department, this is the view they see. On our left, we have our lovely triage area where our wonderful triage nurses screen our patients and put them in the right space. On the right, our fantastic security team is making sure we're all safe. which with COVID have been used less than normal yes. as we try to direct bed every patient. And I will, to our left is the arena where uh, we sit when we do our work. Oh, uh, nurses sit here as well. This is where our health unit coordinator sits and we all collaborate. And, and that's our main board in the center, which has all of our patient information on it. And our assignment board outside of our room 12 that has all of our teams on it. So our squeaky clean room. So when we have an oncology patient or an immuno immunocompromised patient, we'll put them in here. And they have their own bathroom. Ooh. <laughs> Which isn't that common around these parts. I should point out to you. Go ahead. We turn all the way. This is our ultrasound machine. Uh, we have two in the department. One of them's in the trauma bay, and this is the one that we use for patients that are out in the arena and not in the resuscitation room or trauma bay. This is Kyle Kinderman. Kyle, one of our PAs Hello. extraordinaire. Hi there. <laughs> Welcome to the year. <laughs> all right, we're going to round the corner. Keep going this way. We have adjacent radiology suites for all of our plane films so patients can go directly into radiology from the department which is fantastic and our CT area is just down the hall so super close and easily accessible for families. This is Brendan one of our wonderful nurses. Okay. Right, we're turning the corner again. rooms yep. and our front rooms which are really close to our arena which is directly behind us so that allows us to have close contact with those patients who are most acutely ill all right let's show you the resuscitation room. maybe just let them know that this is the hallway our ambulances come through yes. so when we get EMS reports coming up they will arrive and when they arrive they'll actually see this board here so they know what room to go to all of our cappers. So we have cappers for the faculty and the fellows to use on shift. Um, we also have in 95s um, and everything else, but if you choose, you can use a capper for your entire shift as well. Yep. Okay. All right, so the resuscitation room. Keep it nice and toasty in here and <laughs> keep our patients from getting hypothermic. Um, but as you can see, we have a large screen at the front of the room so everyone can see the vitals.
there's such recording, our pharmacist is in that corner by at meds in real time. Um, and so it can get pretty uh, packed in here, but it's great. We have um, actually prepped patients for ECMO in this room, and they're mm -hmm. met in person for the one ECMO. And I love the resuscitation that that happens. So, um, and when Kelly says it gets packed, that's why this is up here because the louder we talk the less people can hear the appropriate communication and so we have our decibel meter up there that lets us know for being too darn loud we're too. <laughs> we're keeping resuscitations quiet so it's good and if you look straight through these glass doors that's our trauma room which is actually really nice because oftentimes if we have two resuscitations or two traumas going they will be in these two rooms and if you are um, either getting the same story from EMS or if you are um, getting consultants between the rooms, we're right adjacent. This room's a little bit larger. It uh, fits the surgical team and our team, which is classic for any trauma in a level one uh, trauma center. Um, when we run, we alternate with surgery. So every other week we run the trauma. When we run, you see it here at the top of the bed. We have a critical care fellow on that left. We have a surgical resident on that right. Um, we have a doc up at Airway. We have another CMAC in here for intubation, another airway cart. Basically all the same equipment that is in the resuscitation room is in here, as well as our trauma cart, um, which would allow us to put test tubes and, and things like that. And then this is our, um, our ultrasound machine for the trauma bay, so that we can do a fast exam. On the weeks that we are not leaving the traumas, we are at bedside and we do the fast. We alternate with surgery. Cool. So that is the trauma room and orientation wise our resuscitation room and then as you exit you can see we are right back to where we started which is the front entrance for our patients and our arena we're going to pause for one second and we'll show you our step down room so as you can see down that hall is where we just were and as we round the corner here we're heading down to our fast track area or our step down area we are in Packer country, and so the main ER, which you just saw, is ER green. This is our ER gold, which is staffed by PZM docs, as well as a few general pediatricians that have recently started with us. Patients are directly moved from triage to this area, and this is a fully functioning unit um, with less, again, because of less acuity, um, less machinery and equipment back here. But as you can see, it's a fully functioning unit back here. It is, how many beds? Ooh. 12 oh, beds back here. Yeah, yeah 12 beds six. back here. So it's two long hallways. And the main ED goes, starts with uh, room one and goes up to room 22, yes. which is the trauma room. Yep. This is where as second years um, and our volumes, we can moonlight. Um, during second year fellowship. Yep, any second year in good standing um, has the ability to moonlight in this step down area um, because our graduate medical education um, team has deemed that this is a non practice part of the hospital, so it's a non training area. And because of that, the fellows can then moonlight in this area, which is really nice for them. Yes, enjoy that last year. <laughs> <laughs> so that ends the tour of the ED. Um, we will next be sending you to meet with our some of our other fellows um, and have a lunch discussion with them. We hope you've enjoyed the tour and we look forward to seeing you. Thanks.